Good morning. Can we all close our eyes and bow our heads for the Lord's Prayer? Our Father, not in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, 
Dear God, we come to you on this joyous day with our hearts lifted to you. At Cedar Bridge Academy, where excellence is valued, we are confident that you have loved us. Lord, on behalf of the principal, staff, and my classmates, I welcome your presence into this momentous occasion as we graduate from Cedar Bridge Academy and commence to live the rest of our lives. I ask that you energize this celebration so that each of us feels the significance of this importance. Take from that what you have to take from that. Cedar Bridge is done. The world opens up to you today. Congratulations from the board. Congratulations from me. Congratulations from your parents, your grandparents, your aunties, your uncles, your grannies, your grandpas. But ladies and gentlemen, your next move is your best move. Remember that. Thank you. Good morning. All right, let's try it again. We're here to celebrate this morning. Good morning, everyone. Yes, that's the energy we need here today. Protocol already been established. I would like to welcome you to Cedar Bridge Academy's graduating class of 2018. I would be remiss if I just don't take the opportunity to extend a warm welcome to, our, to the Minister of Education, the Honorable Diallo Rabin. Also, a very special warm welcome and greeting to our guest speaker this, uh, this morning, Cedar Bridge's own, the mother of Cedar Bridge Academy, whatever label we give it, Bermuda's Acting Commission of Education, Mrs. Kelmar Richards. <laughs> and finally, the most important good morning I can say, a welcome, a shout out, the most noise we can do this morning. Good morning and welcome to your ceremony, the class of 2018. <laughs> There's a saying at Cedar Bridge Academy that was here before I was here, and I'm going to say it. You're all a big time, and we are so glad to honor each and every one of you this morning. The mission statement at Cedar Bridge Academy is at Cedar Bridge Academy, where excellence is valued, we cultivate Bermuda's achievers. This morning, we are here to affirm that Cedar Bridge Academy has cultivated these young people to move on into the next phase of their lives. Today, we celebrate these young men and women who have persevered and worked hard to meet the graduation requirements for Bermuda's public schools. What you have before you is a group of young people who at the end of the day came together and have accomplished this milestone in life. Each young person on this stage this morning has a different journey. They have a different story. Some may have had, a easy, may have had an easier experience than others, but no matter what the journey was, they all came here today and they have made it. Sitting before us on this stage, we have a group of young men and young women who have come here and have made different marks at Cedar Bridge Academy. For instance, we have a group of young men who came together and formed a band, and now they're known as Brothers in Music. We have a group of young ladies who came to Bermuda and who could not speak English, and now they are here graduating with a Bermuda Secondary School Diploma. We have people, be, young people before us this morning in which the traditional classroom did not work for them, but we found an alternative pathway and allowed them to take an online program, and they're here to celebrate with us this morning also. And finally, 
we have a group of young people who are sitting on this stage this morning who actually have already graduated from Bermuda College. So now they're here to get the high school diplomas this morning. Those are just some of the accomplishments of this graduating class. Throughout the ceremony this morning, you would hear about the phenomenal work of each and every one of the young people sitting before us. Today, we have 104 students who are graduating from Cedar Bridge Academy. This represents 42 males and 62 females. I would like to take this opportunity to publicly thank the driving force behind these young people. We have a group of people who wake up every morning, who drive from all around the island, who come here to impart knowledge, wisdom, and everything it takes to prepare our young people for the future. I want all the faculty and staff of Cedar Bridge Academy to please stand at this time. The people who we have standing before us, I would clearly say, are the people who make magic happen. And more importantly, they are the people who are committed to the young people, to the future of Bermuda. But more importantly, we don't prepare our students just for Bermuda, we are preparing our students for the world. Thank you, faculty and staff. Before I take my seat, I would be remiss if I don't send this message out. Parents, although your child is graduating from high school today, please note this is not the end of the journey of the love and unconditional support you should give to them. Most of you would say they are old enough and responsible enough. I do not need to hold their hands anymore. Whilst you have done a great job at raising your children, the job of a parent should never end. As your child goes on to the next phase, please remember your support is important. We must build up the family unit in our society. We must keep it strong and we must continue to, su to support our young people. In some, respect, in some aspects of life, your job as a parent is just starting over. You wait until you receive those college bills or that WhatsApp message probably every day saying I just need $10 or $20 for my bank account but continue to love and advocate for your child and support them. Parents, we honor you this morning for all of the hard work you have done also. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it takes a village to raise a child. Each and every one of us in here have played a part in this village of raising these young people. Graduations are symbolic. They are a rites of passage, and as the village, we should all sit here this morning with pride as we congratulate the graduating class of 2018. Have a great morning and enjoy the program.
morning, as a valedictorian of the graduating class of 2018, I count it an honor to stand before you and address this class of excellence. Ralph Waldo once said, what lies before us and what lies behind us are small matters compared to what lies within us. In June 2014, I sat in the CBA graduation ceremony. As I watched the graduates achieve their diplomas, I was really inspired. And it was then that I set my mind on achieving great things while I was at Cedar Bridge. As one was a year of self-discovery, I, I had a rocky start. But there were those who believed in my potential. They saw through the weeds and pushed me beyond my wildest dreams. In 2016, I was given the opportunity to sit my IGCSEs early, which opened the door for being enrolled in the dual enrollment program at the Bermuda College. This was the start of a journey that I never anticipated I would be on, but I welcomed the challenge. I am sure many of us have had experience that, experiences that we didn't expect along the way. Some here have inspired us, and others have taken us on detours to get to our final destination. But today, we sit here and celebrate our accomplishments. On May 17th, when I received my associate's degree in education from the Bermuda College, I stood in awe, as I'm sure many of us are, who sit here today knowing that we earned our high school diplomas. As Cardi B says, knock me down nine times, but I get up ten. During the next chapter of our lives, there will be mountains we will have to cross, mountains we will have to climb, and valleys we will have to cross. There will be times when we will feel defeated and ready to give up. But instead of letting those things deter us and knock us off our path, we will stay focused and keep our hair straight. During the last two years of high school and college, I came to understand that anything worth having takes hard work, dedication, and sometimes removing those distractions so I can reach my goals. I had to take those couple setbacks, bounce back, and recover. It was all about learning from my mistakes so that I didn't make them again. Life will surely knock you down, but you can't stay there. Get up, dust yourself off, and try again. Knock me down nine times, but I get up ten. Now our future lies before us. From today, you have to really believe in yourself. Life is going to put us to the task. I know Cedar Bridge has laid a good foundation for all of us. Pursue your passions, stay focused on your goals, and be the change you want to see in the world. We are the future. In 10 to 20 years, we will be the doctors, teachers, lawyers, nurses, plumbers, cosmetologists, politicians, you name a career. We will be running the world. So let's take this world by storm and show them we are powerful beyond measures. As Dr. Sue says, you have brains in your head, feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You are on your own and you know what you know. You're the guide that decides where to go. This has been a journey that I have thoroughly enjoyed. Class of 2018, we are ending a chapter and beginning a new one. I encourage you to celebrate each step you take along the way and don't wait until you have reached a goal to be proud. I can't wait to hear about all of our great accomplishments at our 10-year reunion. I would like to take this time to thank all the teachers that have played a role in my life over the past four years. You helped with building a foundation and grooming me. I know I wouldn't be here if you hadn't seen something in me. I would like to thank my family for pushing me, encouraging me, and standing by my side every step of the way. Lastly, I would like to thank my friends. <laughs> Each of my friends play a different role in my life, and they have truly been my rock through these last few years. Class of 2018, we've made it. Now on to bigger and better things. Good morning. Good morning to all of you, my Cedar Bridge Academy family, and to the amazing graduating class of 2018. I never thought that I would speak in front of a huge audience, and because I'm not a public speaker, I'll try to keep this short. I only have 10 pages, and during practice, this only took 45 minutes. <laughs> of course, for those who don't know me, that was a joke.
First of all, I am honored to be here as your class of Valley Victorian. I never thought this would be my outcome when I started senior year, and yet here I am. Before I begin talking to my fellow graduates, I would first like to say some words of thanks to the people who helped, who helped me attain this honor. To Mr. Steed, the math teacher who will forever be in his 40s and making sure his students pay attention by writing the wrong numbers and equations. Thank you, for, thank you for making class interesting and a joy to attend. To Ms. Robinson, a great biology teacher and advisor. You heightened my love for biology and due to that, I'm excited to begin my biology class at Bermuda College. To Ms. Landy, a teacher with a big personality and a high passion for art. Thank you for inspiring me to be more creative in my artistic endeavors. I would also like to thank Ms. Keynes and Ms. Lowe for doing a great job at teaching AP Psychology because it was their first time teaching. <laughs> I wasn't sure psychology would be interesting, but they both managed to maintain my interest in the course and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Additionally, I want to thank my parents for being involved in my academic success. My dad, who couldn't be here for pushing me to do my best, and my mom, who is in the audience, <laughs> um, with us to, for being an inspiration to me. Although she is deaf, she has never let it stop her from doing the things she wants and doing them well, and I take that to heart. Now, to my fellow graduates, we succeeded. The day is here. Let's give ourselves a hand. <laughs> Today marks the first step into adulthood. These last four years, for some of us, only three, have been exciting and challenging. When I look out at all your faces, I feel proud of the accomplishments that have led us to this moment. When I reflect on our time at Cedarbridge Academy, there are two key pieces I believe have carried us this far and will carry us further on our journey. The first is keeping faith even in the darkest moments. And secondly, seizing and creating opportunities that will push us farther on our journey. For most of us, our freshman year wasn't too tough. In S1, I was presented with the opportunity to take the IGCSE biology and English test early. To be honest, I wasn't sure that I would pass these courses, but something within me and the faith from those around me pushed me to seize the opportunity anyway, and I'm so glad that I did. With some help, of, oops, with some help from a few of CBA's amazing teachers, I managed to pass my IGCSEs and going on to S3 biology and pre-AP English only in my sophomore year. I share this story not to boast of my success, but rather to shed light on the success that can happen when we seize opportunities. As a Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. said, if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But, I, but by all means, keep moving forward. Don't stand, and, don't stand by and watch opportunities pass over you because of doubts or insecurities. Recognize that you are a graduate of Cedar Bridge Academy and there is no opportunity or role that is too great for you. Some of us will be moving abroad to universities and colleges. Others will be headed to Bermuda College and others will be moving right into the workforce. We will face new challenges and obstacles in this next chapter of our lives and we will do what we must to push through those obstacles and overcome those challenges. Above all else, we must always have faith in ourselves. We are Bermuda's future. We are its future leaders, teachers, lawyers, electricians, doctors, nurses, plumbers, businessmen, businesswomen, and all future workers. It has been said, success, success is when opportunity meets preparation. We have the skills. We are prepared. It is our time for us to seize and create opportunities on our journey to success. Like our parents and our grandparents before us, we now move on to the portion of our lives where we are responsible and we must play a role to ensure Bermuda stays strong. And I know we will do great things for ourselves, our people, and Bermuda. Again, congratulations to the class of 2018. We did it. Thank you. The opportunity to address you all on this momentous occasion is an honor, and I would like to thank you all for being in attendance. Four years ago, the graduating class of 2018 entered Cedar Bridge Academy as individuals, but today, we leave as a family. Through its ups and downs, we have pushed through all that life has thrown at us. Parents, faculty, family, friends, and esteemed guests, 
As you look upon us this morning, you see a group of diverse, well-rounded, and dedicated individuals. Remember that you, yes you, all have played a major role in my success and the success of each one of my children. Character development. I am grateful for your support and encouragement. It is an honor to call each one of you friends and will be connected to such outstanding individuals. I look forward to all the great things you will do in your future. I want everyone in this notice, in this audience, to remember the names and faces that will walk across this stage this morning. We are your lawyers, educators, doctors, athletes, political leaders, musicians, actors, actresses, bankers, mental health workers, and police officers. We are your future. Please support us, speak words of life to us, and most importantly, pick us up when we fall. 
We will do our best to serve our country in, and the world in a way that is representative of the excellence we have learned to strive for here at Cedar Bridge Academy. Class of 2018, this is the very last time that all of us will be in one space together all at the same time. Although that door is bittersweet, I bid you the fondest for a I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. I have no question that all of you, all of you, will do big things in your personal and your professional lives because you are all big time. As Paul Brandon so eloquently panned, don't tell me the sky's the limit when there are footprints on the moon. Class of 2018, rise up and exceed expectations. Good luck to you all and congratulations. Good morning all. I am honored to have been chosen to introduce our graduation speaker, Mrs. Kalmar Richards. Mrs. Richards is a wife, a mother, and an educator. She has been in education since 1983, having completed her tertiary education at Bermuda College, Acadia University, and finally at Webster University. Mrs. Richards has been able to impact the youth of Bermuda by being an educator at several of Bermuda schools. Mrs. Richards served as a teacher at the Barclay Institute, principal at Somerset Primary, and vice principal and principal at the Bass High School in Bermuda, Cedar Bridge Academy. <laughs> During her tenure at Cedar Bridge Academy, Mrs. Richards was awarded the Ministry of Education's Principal Leadership Award, the Award of Excellence, the Principal's Award, and the Queen's Certificate and Badge of Honor. Like all of us graduating here today, Mrs. Richards is big time. <laughs> Mrs. Richards views her role as an educator as a blessing. She believes she was called to raise the standard of excellence in education in order to preserve Bermuda's youth for their purpose. We are blessed to have the Acting Commissioner of Education and our former principal with us today. Please join me in welcoming Mrs. Kalmar Richards to the podium. Good morning, everyone. It truly is an honor to be here this morning to celebrate with the class of 2018 a remarkable, phenomenal group. To our esteemed leaders and guests who have come to celebrate, thank you so much for your presence today. My role this morning is a bit unique. Yes, I've come as the guest speaker, but I'm also here as the former principal of Cedar Bridge Academy. I was in place in September 2017, and I did promise the students that I would come and celebrate them during their graduation. And so I do thank the acting principal, Caesar, for allowing me to come and to celebrate these amazing young people, your children, Bermuda's children. On June 27th, that was this week, I received a call from Mrs. Victoria Outerbridge. She is a member of staff here at Cedar Bridge Academy. Actually, it was an email that I received. 
Subject line, Julia Outerbridge. Clicked it open and the email said, Richards just wanted to share with you that Julia has done it. Julia was a member of the class of 2010. Julia left Cedar Bridge Academy with great aspirations. And what did she achieve? Julia goes on record now as being Cedar Bridge Academy's first pharmacist. And so we salute her and we celebrate her today. And I share Julia's story because the untold details of her story include goal setting, resilience, determination, and bold ambition. She sat in this auditorium. She had dreams that she thought about in this auditorium, just like the graduates from the class of 2018. Today, we can celebrate her because she achieved the goal that she set. And it's such an awesome achievement. Class of 2018, your achievements indicate that you have certainly lived up to the theme of being boldly ambitious. I want you to take note of the remarks that I make as I celebrate students from the class of 2018. I want you to understand that having ambition can, celebrate, uh, can separate the good from the average. But when you have bold amb ambition, it separates the great from the good. And you are expected to have bold ambition. Ambition is essential, but our ambition will only take you as far as the changes that you make in your life every day. Javon Morgan, the changes that you made enabled you to achieve this outcome this day. And I want you to know that I am proud of you. Congratulations. When you have ambition that is so strong, you're prepared to take a leap into the uncharted waters. And a group of nine young men did just that. They are trailblazers as the first graduates from the Bermuda College Applied Tech Dual Enrollment Program. They are President and Vice President's List students and that some of them have even graduated from Bermuda College with merit. They are Kimari Burchell, Donovan Drummond, Markel Wilkinson, Keneal Morrison, Shukri Muhammad, Seth Samuels, Messiah Joel, Elijah Lightborn, and Sakai Wainwright Baston. Congratulations, young men. Congratulations. I also want to applaud Sakai Wainwright Basden for being the outstanding, for earning the outstanding teen award for vocational technical arts. Congratulations, Sakai. Thank you, gentlemen. When you are ambitious, you act with purpose. You allow yourselves room to explore and to experiment and to discover. And so I want to also highlight this morning the XL Kaplan mentees. Tamiko Douglas, CEO of Pink Sand Travel Packs. Kenjai Robinson, Tracy K. Trey Crofton, Josiah Talbot, Tay Fishenden, and Nadir Young. Congratulations on your achievements. And I single out Nadir Young for obtaining the APIC Education Award 
valued at $15,000 per year. Congratulations, Nadir. Ambition demands a lot from you. It demands that you are dedicated. It demands you that you work hard, that you perfect your craft, and that you sacrifice in order to obtain your goal. Today, we applaud eight Cedar Ridge Academy students who are working to complete their nursing assistant certification from the Bermuda College. I understand they just need to do their clinical portion and they will be finished. We are so proud of you, Christopher Bean, Storm Gibbons, Raven Pitcher, Nasaya Saunders, Malia Smith, Talila Weirs, and Tronai Richardson. Congratulations to all of you and John Basalo, congratulations. I would like to highlight our head girl, Storm Gibbons, who has demonstrated amazing school spirit and event planning. She is an honor roll student, an SGA representative, the Sergeant of Arms for the Gavel Club, and also a nominee for three outstanding teen awards. Well done, Storm. John Bacello, I salute you this morning as our head boy, as a writer of the Cedar Bridge Academy Chimes and the Young Observer, President of the Gavel Club, Vice President of Human Resources for the Virtual Enterprise Program, and nominee for Outstanding Teen Awards. Congratulations, John. This morning, you saw the amazing brothers in music. When you have ambition, you decide that you want to take your talents and you want to use them to move beyond what you have experienced. And so this morning, I want to celebrate the brothers in music, the amazing musicians who are also members of the Bermuda Youth Orchestra and some are members of the Bermuda Regiment Band. Tyler Jones, Nicholas Davis, Tracy K. Crofton, Josiah Tobit, Tay Fisherden, and Shakoi Fox. You are big time. You really are. <laughs> Ambition and talent can also drive you to exceed expectations. And so Jonathan Simons, one of the members of the Simons Brothers, one of our local groups, I salute you for the work that you are doing in the arts throughout Bermuda. Congratulations. Six phenomenal female performers who perform in the Black Box Theater and who have graced the stages across this island have been thinking outside of the box. They have uh, formed the Noir Theater and implemented a student-run board. And because of their extensive knowledge and competence in the Meisner performance technique, some of them have been accepted in internationally recognized tertiary level institutions. Ayanna Richards, John Bacello, Tanya Utley Peets, Christopher Bean, who is our sports team, Dahlia Gibbs, and Michaela Robinson. Congratulations to all of you. When you are ambitious, it compels you to want to do remarkable things. You don't want to play small. You want to play big. You don't shrink from new experiences, and you embrace them boldly and with confidence. We have some remarkable students at Cedar Ridge Academy. I salute Bishop Sanders, the winner of the Bermuda National Coding Competition 2017. I salute Gershane Tate, who is a tall ship's trainee. I salute Tanya Otley Peets, who attended the Global Youth Leadership Conference in China. I salute Kai Wan Waldron, an international competitor for harness racing and carriage driving. I salute Ricky Williams for her work with Riley International. 
I salute Haley Place, a rugby player and actuarial intern with Hanover Re. I salute Nafisa Rochester, an advanced cake decorator, a cake decorator and certified restaurant server. She is also an assistant fashion designer for Renee Hill Originals. I salute Sayer Scott, one of our youth ministers with Youth Parliament and Vice President for the Gavel Club. I salute Brianna Smith, a junior assistant at Kaleidoscope Art Foundation. I salute Talila Wears and Delio Brayman, Corufta athletes. And Danio is an honor student, a global youth leadership conference attendee and a Bermuda national champion. I salute Shane Rogers, Mr. Cedar Bridge Academy, and an individual who I affectionately call Mr. Hospitality. Shane, you have the most positive, most pleasant attitude that I have come across. You genuinely care about others, regardless of race, background, status, and age, and you have enriched the lives of so many students. Thank you, Shane. You heard Principal Caesar talking about our Spanish-speaking students who came with very little English. And now, Annabelle Garcia, Shirley Gomez, Maria de Leon Garcia, and Jalea Medina Urena are speaking our language. And where's Annabelle? And I know she continues to speak. Annabelle, you know what I mean when I say that. Tyler Jones, I salute you a chef in training at Cafe Lido and Cedar Bridge's Alpha Boat. Jalen Hessel, I salute you for graduating in three years. <laughs> and for being the 2018 Youth Referee of the Year. Ambitious people understand that there are no shortcuts and it is only their persistence that will get them where they want to go. They know what they must do and they ensure that their time is dedicated to getting closer and closer to their dream and they do what they must do. They understand that ambition requires sacrifice and that sometimes you have to give up things in order to get up to another level of performance that you have set for yourself. I have no doubt that the 12 students who earn GPAs between 3.0 and 4.15 did just that. Kaya Bagley Perrin, John Bissalu, Tay Fishenden, Tracy Jackson, Keneal Morrison, Haley Place, Kenjai Robinson, Shane Rogers, Tamara Simons, Asray Smith, Ricky Williams, and Nadir Young. Congratulations. Well done. I highlight to you as well, Ricky Williams, who completed the Riley International Program, and she has already commenced her studies towards her associate's degree at Bermuda College. Kaya Bagley Pearman, our salutatorian for the BSD program, deputy head girl, commissioner's visionary award, writer for the Cedar Bridge Academy Chimes, National Honor Society member, vice president of the Gavel Club, outstanding teen awardee for Leadership 2016. Ambition will prevent you from giving in and giving up. Instead, it will cause you to persist and to fight and to achieve and to rise to the challenges because you find no reason to quit. This was exemplified by three young men who are the first graduates to receive the accredited 
Penn Foster High School diploma, Gianni Liburd, Kitori Douglas, and Matthew Chinapu Simons. We congratulate you. Well done, gentlemen. We are proud of you. When you have ambition, while others may be out having a ball, you are literally on the ball. And Keyshawn Bean, Jarrell Smith, you were literally on the ball. Keyshawn Bean is an outstanding teen nominee for 2018, an honor roll student. He made his debut for the Bermuda national team at the age of 16. He is a junior referee and has just completed a program with the Office of the Project Management and Procurement. Congratulations, Keyshawn. Jarrell Smith is one of Bermuda's best. We have in our presence one of the top basketball players in Bermuda. He is an honor roll student, an MVP for Cedar Bridge Academy basketball, an MVP for All-Star basketball, an MVP for National basketball, and he is one of the Digicel top five players in Bermuda and the Caribbean. Well done, Jarrell. Debray Evans, Taya Lindo, and Jade Stewart, you are on the ball. Debray is the Cedar Bridge Academy house captain. She is our sports queen, a top dancer, a netball player, a teacher at In Motion, and a junior national umpire. Taya Lindo is a house captain, a member of the Bermuda national team, and she has earned a full scholarship to Flagler College. Jade Stewart is the captain of the Cedar Bridge Academy football team, a member of Bermuda's women's national team. She has trained with Chelsea's latest finalist team. She has traveled to the Netherlands to play with the FSG international team. She is Miss Cedar Bridge Academy 2018, and she has a full scholarship to Holland College. Congratulations, Jane. An ambitious attitude can lead you to triumph, regardless of what challenges are put in front of you. And today, I celebrate a young man in particular who came into Cedar Bridge Academy excelling, who completed GCSEs, which were two-year long programs or courses in one year with A grades, who took rigorous AP courses in spite of challenges. He has proved that he is brilliant, outstanding, and excellent. It is my pleasure to share with you an individual, the name of the individual who has received a $25,000 scholarship from Valadis Bermuda, who received the Outstanding Teen Award for Perseverance. Please put your hands together for Kenjai Robinson. So as I close, I want to remind you that you have talent, every one of you. But talent needs ambition, bold ambition, a desire to exceed expectations. And you have that. That is part of the Cedar Bridge Academy legacy. So be brilliant, be outstanding, be excellent, and be boldly ambitious. God bless you. Good morning. My name is Shane Rogers. 
It is my privilege to deliver the vote of thanks on this occasion. Ms. Richards, on behalf of Mr. Caesar, the staff of Cedarbridge Academy, and the entire class of 2018, I extend a very hearty thank you to you for all the work that you have done in nurturing us to be successful. You mentioned resilience, determination, setting goals, and most importantly, ambition. You also said, when you're ambitious, you act with purpose. Your presentation today was uplifting and lays the foundation for the direction that we must move in to be successful. Please accept these gifts as a token of our gratitude and appreciation. We are ecstatic that you completed this journey with us. Please come on stage with me. Thank you so much. I'm truly honored. God bless. To our parents, special guests, and well-wishers, thank you for being a part of this celebration and for recognizing that we simply could not have done this without any of your love and support. To our loving and caring teachers, thank you for sharing your love, guidance, and commitment to our success during the phase of our educational journey. We know that your service has played a critical role in our growth towards our future success. We truly value and appreciate all that you have done for us, even though at times we may not have always made you feel that way. To, support, to the support staff at Cedarbridge Academy, a special thank you for putting up with us for the past four years. Know that the work that you did do not go unnoticed by the students. If there is anyone who I failed to mention today, know that you are just as special as those I have mentioned and that we are truly grateful for your love and support as well. We are at the end of this road, but I'm confident that my peers and I really miss this institution and will forever reminisce about the times that we shared here. Class of 2018, we are students of excellence. Again, Again, a big time thank you to everyone. Good morning. To acting principal, Mr. Kenneth Caesar, although you have only been at Cedar Bridge Academy for a few short months, you have been an awesome team player and support system for us. You have demonstrated one of the core values of leadership that Cedar Bridge Academy, class of 2018, has learned whilst here, and that is service. We have seen this modeled so many times by our former principal, various departments, and many of the adults that grace the halls of this institution. And now you. We are truly appreciative of everything that you have done. That being said, would you please join me at the podium? At Cedar Bridge Academy, we are family. Today, the class of 2018 will be giving back to our family. On behalf of 2018, we, I am delighted to announce that we have donated $2,000 to the Student Services Department and for the Student Assistance Program. And I also... <laughs> and I'd also like to present Mr. Kenneth Caesar with a plaque that shows our appreciation for you. Yeah. What you thinking? 
Special good morning to everyone, Ms. Minister and Mr. Famous. Would you join us on stage, please? Mrs. Forbert and Mrs. Fogel, would you join us on stage, please? Thank you. Class of 2018, over the last three years, you have learned and heard me preach to you a number of things about going beyond expectations. You've heard me talk about mediocrity has no place in this world. Congratulations to you once again. We have done it. I can say mission accomplished. All right. So at this time, I present to you the graduates for the class of 2018. Zanae Aberdeen. Yeah. 
Charlie Arias Gomez. Bermuda School Diploma, Nelson Arruda, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Guilds Employability Skills, NCCER. Kaya bagley Pearman, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Guilds Employability Skills, Virtual Enterprise International, Accounts Personal Finance Calculus. Christopher Bean. Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gales Employability Skills, Mathematics 2. Keyshawn Bean. Bermuda School Diploma, NCCER. Siame Barkley Simon. Bermuda School Diploma, City and Guilds Employability Skills, Computer Program, NCCER. John Besalo. Bermuda School Diploma, City and Guilds Employability Skills, Virtual Enterprise International. Alondre Brownman, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Guilds Employability Skills, Computer Hardware. Danio Brownman, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Guilds Employability Skills, Mathematics Application 2. Nazaya Brangman, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Guilds Employability Skills. Ruben Bullholz, Bermuda School Diploma, NCCER. Kimari Burchell, Bermuda School Diploma, Jaquilo Burgess, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Guild Employability Skills. Kayla Carpenter, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Guild Employability Skills, Mathematics Application 2, Child Care as a Profession. Matthew Chinapu, Simons, Penn Foster Program. Trezike Crofton, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Guilds Employability Skills, French Award. Sequoia Darrell, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Guilds Employability Skills. Nicholas Davis, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Guilds Employability Skills. Soleil Davis, Bermuda School Diploma, Personal Finance, Calculus. Maria De Leon Garcia, Bermuda School Diploma. Haley De Souza, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Guilds Employability Skills. Kitori Douglas, Penn Foster Program, NCCER. Tomiko Douglas, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Guilds Employability Skills, Virtual Enterprise International, 
Biology 3. Donovan Drummond, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gills Employability Skills. Debray Evans, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gills Employability Skills. Tay Fishington, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gills Employability Skills, Advanced Mathematics. Alyssa Fox, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gills Employability Skills. Shakoy Fox, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gills Employability Skills. Iyani Franklin Smith, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gills Employability Skills, Preserving Our Heritage. Josaria Fabla, Bermuda School Diploma. Marcus Firth, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gills Employability Skills. Zaria Farbert, Bermuda School Diploma. Joshante Farbertuzo, Bermuda School Diploma. Annabelle Garcia, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gills Employability Skills. Storm Gibbons. Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gills Employability Skills, AP Language 2. Dahlia Gibbs, Bermuda School Diploma. Jate Gochal, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gills Employability Skills. Sequita Graham, Bermuda School of Achievement. Chad Grant, Bermuda School Diploma. Jalen Hassel, Bermuda School Diploma. Integrated Mathematics Biology 3. Danielle Henry, Bermuda School Diploma. Kyla Hunt, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gills Employability Skills. Tracy Jackson, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gills Employability Skills, A2 Mathematics, AP Psychology. Naziah Joe. Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gills Employability Skills. Tyler Jones, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gills Employability Skills. Sebastian Knox, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gills Employability Skills, AP Literature 2, AP Psychology. Monte Lawrence, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gills Employability Skills. Zaire Lee, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gills Employability Skills. Elijah Lightborn, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gills Employability Skills, Discovering Food.
Taya Lindo, Bermuda School Diploma. Elijah Low Anderson, Bermuda School Diploma. Yasmin Martin, Bermuda School Diploma. Halir Medina Urena, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Girls Employability Skills, Mathematics Application 2. Sage Ming, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Girls Employability Skills, Virtual Enterprise International. Javon Morgan, Bermuda School Diploma, NCCER. Keneal Morrison, Bermuda School Diploma. Shukri Mohammed, Bermuda School Diploma. Tonya Otley Peets, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Guilds Employability Skills, Virtual Enterprise International. Zen Paul Pacheco, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Guilds, Employability Skills, English 4. Priya Phillips, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Guilds, Employability Skills. Rakaja Phipps, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Guilds, Employability Skills, Mass Applications 2. Raven Pitcher, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Guilds Employability Skills. Haley Place, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Guilds Employability Skills, A2 Math, AP Literature 2, Biology 4. Kenneth Poucher, Bermuda School Diploma, NCCER. Kenjai Robinson, Bermuda School Diploma, A2 Math. Michaela Robinson, Bermuda Certificate of Achievement. Trinai Robinson Burgess. Bermuda School Diploma, City and Guilds, Employability Skills. Nafisa Rochester, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Guilds, Employability Skills. Shane Rogers, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Guilds, Employability Skills, AP Literature 2. Seth Samuels. Bermuda School Diploma, City and Guilds Employability Skills. Ambaro Santushi, Bermuda School Diploma. Zoe Santushi, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Guilds Employability Skills.
Nazaya Saunders, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gills Employability Skills. Zaire Scott, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gills Employability Skills, Economic Geography. Tamara Simmons, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gills Employability Skills. Zai Simmons, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gills Employability Skills, Virtual Enterprise International. Ajane Simons, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gill Employability Skills, Virtual Enterprise International. Jonathan Simons, Bermuda School Diploma. Ashley Smith, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gills Employability Skills, English 4, Human Geography. Azrae Smith, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gills Employability Skills, Advanced Mathematics. Brianna Smith, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gills Employability Skills. Jarrell Smith, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gills Employability Skills. Kyra Smith, Bermuda School Diploma, Biology 4. Malia Smith, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gills Employability Skills. Jade Short, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gills Employability Skills. Garshane Tate, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gills Employability Skills, Virtual Enterprise International. Josiah Talba, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gills Employability Skills, Advanced Mathematics. Felicia Trott, Bermuda Certificate of Achievement. To Shayla Trott, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gales Employability Skills. Zaquela Trott, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gales Employability Skills. Tiaja Tucker Phipps, Bermuda School Diploma. Janae Terrell, Bermuda Certificate of Achievement. Nataji Virgil, Bermuda School Diploma. Sakai Wayne Watt Wright Basden, Bermuda School Diploma. Taiwan Waldron, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gills Employability Skills. Jadeja Washington, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gills Employability Skills. Talila Wears, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gales Employability Skills. Markal Wilkinson, Bermuda School Diploma. 
Ronaldo Wilkinson Bermuda Certificate of Achievement. Diashe Williams, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gills Employability Skills. Ricky Williams, Bermuda School Diploma, City and Gills Employability Skills. Nadir Young, Bermuda School Diploma, Virtual Enterprise International. And last but certainly not least, Bishop Zanders, Bermuda School Diploma, Virtual Enterprise International, Computer Hardware and AP Language 2. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. At this time, I'm still going to ask our platform guests to remain on stage. Thank you. We've reached the portion of our ceremony whereby we will be presenting students who have achieved outstanding awards and scholarships. We ask for Mrs. Lucaya Richards to come to the stage and join us for this present portion of the presentation. The valedictorian award awarded to the student with the highest cumulative GPA in the graduating class. Recipients are Tamara Simmons for the dual enrollment program and Tracy Jackson for the Bermuda School Diploma. Salutatorian Award, awarded to the student with the second highest GPA in the graduating class. The recipient, Kaya bagley Pierman, Bermuda School Diploma. Outstanding Athlete, Male and Female, awarded to the most outstanding male and female, the Neo Brinkman and Jade Stewart. The awards in this series have been provided by the PTSA. Sportsmanship Award for the male and female awarded to a graduating student who demonstrates positive attitude while participating on the CBA sports team, Shane Rogers and Talila Weirs. Most Improved Student, male and female, awarded to a graduating student who has shown the most improvement from S1 through to S2. Make that S4. From S1 to S4. Kimari Burchill and Rakaiza Phipps. Community Service Award, awarded to the student with the highest number of community service hours, Kenneth Pusha. <laughs> the 
co-curricular award awarded to the student with the highest number of co-curricular hours, DeBray Evans. Citizenship Award, presented to a graduate who has served the school in an exemplar manner for a minimum of 18 through 24 months. The recipient is Haley Place. <laughs> Technical Award, Presented to the student with outstanding technical involvement in theater, the recipient, Tanya Upley Peets. The English Language Art Achievement Award is presented to an S4 student in good academic standing. He or she has consistently demonstrated persistence, integrity, and appropriate deportment befitting of a student of excellence. The recipient is Christopher B. <laughs> Send this rotary. Awarded to a graduate student who provided exceptional school service. The recipient is Shane Rogers. Dr. Emily Gale Deal. The Higher Vision Persistent Award, awarded to the student in the graduating class who has demonstrated academic perseverance against the odds. And the recipient is Cantori Douglas. The Dr. Asilda White Award is given to a student who demonstrates excellence in mathematics, specifically in AS, and the recipient of that award is Tracy Jackson. Good morning. I would first like to say congratulations to the class of 2018. I started this award after graduating from Cedar Bridge Academy in 2010. The Danielle Richards Award is presented to the student who excels in accounting as I myself chose to pursue a career in accounting and I'm currently doing so at KPMG. There's a great need for accountants here in Bermuda which makes it a desirable career choice with many opportunities. Therefore, I want to encourage students to consider accounting as a career. This year's recipient of the Danielle Richards Award for Excellence in Accounting is Nadir Young.
The Tamar Richards Math Award is presented to a student who has been constantly outstanding in math. Tamar could not be here today, but has passed on a short message. First, he wants to emphasize that math opens doors. Second, strengthening your skills in math will add to your professional worth. Lastly, he encourages students not to shy away from math, but to continue to get a strong foundation. Please join me in congratulating and encouraging this year's recipient, Ms. Kaya bagley Pearman. Congratulations to the class of 2018. Well done. Paget Lions Club donates a 3,000 bursary award to Cedar Bridge Academy student every year to facilitate the education of a deserving student who would like to get a higher education. We are happy to announce that Storm Gibbons, you are that student. We are sure. We are sure that this freshery will help you in achieving your goals. We wish you good luck and hope that you will utilize the best of this freshery. Good morning and congratulations to the class of 2018. Ballard is Holdings Limited is proud to present this award to a well-deserved student. This is unusual for us because Kenjai was not our first choice. Not because of his ability, but we have a criteria and we usually don't award freshmen. However, we had decided this year for the first time in our scholarship history to award two awards, and that being to Kenjai Robinson. PWC Bermuda Head Start Award of Excellence. Good morning, everyone. As a Cedar Bridge alumni, I take great pleasure in being here today to award um, the Head Start Award of Excellence for PWC Bermuda. I would also like to congratulate the class of 2018, as today marks not only the celebration of the accomplishments here at Cedar Bridge, but also the beginning of a new and exciting chapter in your lives. Congratulations, graduates. PwC supports the development of Bermuda young adults and is dedicated to promoting the accounting profession throughout Bermuda schools. Today, we are pleased to present our Head Start Award of Excellence. The recipient of this year's award is of excellent academic standing with a GPA of 4.0, they excel not only inside the classroom, but also demonstrate that they are active and well-rounded, while standing out as a leader and role model amongst their peers. The recipient of this award is enthusiastic, self-motivating, and has been accepted into an institution of higher education. To commemorate this occasion, we are delighted to present the awardee with a plaque acknowledging their commitment to hard work and dedication as well as a monetary award to be used towards their furthering their studies. Please join me in congratulating the winner of the 2018 PwC Bermuda Head Start Award of Excellence, 
Kaya Bagley Pearman. EY Bermuda Limited High School Award. Good morning, everybody, and congratulations to the graduating class of 2018. I have to say the energy in the room today is phenomenal. So where do you start if you want to change the world? At EY, we dedicated to building a better working world. Through this vision, our global firm has accomplished much through the efforts of all the great people who make up the firm. Here are just a few examples. For the 20th consecutive year, EY appears on Fortune magazine's list for the 100 best companies to work for. EY was named number one on 2017 Diversity Inc's top 50 companies for diversity. EY is also one of the leading global sponsors of International Women's Day. So today, we're proud to present the EY 2018 Values Award and a monetary, uh, and a monetary award to the graduating students who most reflects the core values of EY. This is the person who demonstrates integrity, respect and teaming, the person with the most energy, enthusiasm and the courage to lead, and the person who builds their relationships based on doing the right thing. So congratulations to the 2018 EY Values Award recipient, Kayla bagley Pearman. Chartered Professional Accountants of Bermuda Outstanding Student Award. Still morning. Good morning, everyone, and congratulations to the class of 2018. The Charter Professional Accountants of Bermuda has been presenting this award for the outstanding student achievement for a number of years. This award is presented to the students at the high school level in recognition of their scholastic achievements, leadership qualities, school spirit, and community involvement demonstrated throughout their final school year. Today, we present this year's outstanding student award to John Belasso for Salad. <laughs> I actually have it right here. HSBC Award, Recruit Extraordinary People Program. Good morning, and congratulations to the 2018 graduating class. Since 2004, HSBC Bank Bermuda Limited has sponsored a program titled Recruit Extraordinary People, or REP, where a graduate from each of Bermuda's high schools is presented with the award during their graduation. The recipient of this year's award was nominated by members of the Cedar Bridge Academy faculty based upon their ability to live the values of HSBC. Those values being to be open to different ideas and cultures, dependable to do the right thing, and connected to community and others. Additional criteria that was considered in this award is that the awardee has to be in strong academic standing, have a high level of dedication to schoolwork, must have participated in significant community service, have plans to further their education beyond secondary school, and of course, have an interest in pursuing the financial services industry. Cedar Bridge Academy graduate that receives the HSBC REP award will receive a one-year guaranteed holiday employment offer to commence the summer of 2019. That means the summer after you've completed your first year of university. The REP awardee also receives 
enhanced consideration for the HSBC Bank Bermuda Graduate Development Program with potential to commence upon graduation from university. This year, I am pleased to present the HSBC Bank Bermuda Limited Recruit Extraordinary People Award to Nadir Young. Balco Bursary Award for Continuing Education at Bermuda College and Balco Mathematics Award. Good morning, teachers, administrators, parents, fr family, and friends, and especially to the graduating class. With a history dating back to 1904, Balco and the Ascendant Group of Companies is committed to our community and the continued investment in the success of our island. My name is Zahina Davis, and this morning I am proud to present two awards. The first award represents our specific focus in the last five years on STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. This award recognizes the students with the highest a cumulative average in math for the past four years of high school. It is my pleasure to, to present the Balco Math Award to Haley Place. <laughs> The next award is a bursary awarded to students who will be attending the Bermuda College in the fall. Students have to be well-rounded, representing themselves as role models for the community. The two students receiving this award are Osray Smith and Ricky Williams. Congratulations to our awards in the class of 2008. Former student, Nakino Crichton, Hard Strong Award. Good afternoon, everybody. Before I start, I'd like to say congratulations to the class of 2018. You made it. Today, Today, I'm here to give out the Nakino Crichton Hartstrong Award. This award was created to honor the memory of Nakino Crichton, who was a Cedar Bridge Academy student who was tragically killed in a road fatality five years ago. Nakino was a bright, shining star who excelled in sports and cared and had a big heart for people who most would consider different and take his time and takes the time out to make sure that they were happy and living their best life. Today, I have the privilege to give out the Nakino Crichton Hartstrong Award to a student who is athletic, strong-willed, and has a caring heart. This student participates in sports here at Cedar Bridge Academy, but what stood out the most was the student's caring heart. Just like Nakino, this student had taken the time out of their day to help out the fellow students with special needs and to make sure they know that they have a friend that cares about them. When learning about this student, I was surprised that this student not only befriended a special needs student here at Cedar Bridge Academy, but was willing to take them to prom and to show them that they too can have a normal high school experience despite some challenges they may have. By now, most of you know who this award is going to, so I just want to say the world needs more people like you, and I salute you for what you have done to make someone else's life a little better. Therefore, the Nakino Crichton Hartstrong Award goes to Kyla Hunt. <laughs> Dr. Norma Hendrickson, Post-Secondary Education Award. Good afternoon again. First established in 1908 on the campus of Howard University in Washington, D.C., a, a global organization of over 
283,000 women in 992 chapters. Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated has been purposeful. Purposeful in encouraging and cultivating high scholastic and ethical standards, purposeful in promoting unity, purposeful in scrutinizing ways to alleviate challenges concerning girls and women that impact social stature, and purposeful in service to all mankind. In support of the educational advancement and lifelong learning of girls and women, the Bermuda chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, the Sigma Xi Omega chapter, is pleased to present the Dr. Norma Hendrickson Education Award to a Cedar Bridge Academy graduating student who has committed to attending the Bermuda College. Dr. Hendrickson served at various levels in education, such as a teacher, a principal, and assistant permanent secretary. Dr. Hendrickson believed that education was the foundation for success and that educated children were the measure of that success. Please join me in congratulating the recipient of the 2018 Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Dr. Norma Hendrickson Education Award to Azre Smith. Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, Dame Marjorie Bean Award. Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated was founded in January the 13th, 1913, on the principles of sisterhood, scholarship, and service. Our primary purpose is to provide assistance and support through established programs in local communities throughout the world. The Bermuda Alumni Chapter was chartered in June 1989. We are pleased to have partnered with Cedar Bridge Academy for the past 19 years by offering this scholarship to a female student. This scholarship honors the late Dame Marjorie Bean, R. Soar, who was a member of the Bermuda Alumni Chapter and a trailblazer in the field of education. She made significant contributions to her community with the intent of improving the welfare of her people. We were overwhelmed with the quality of applicants from this year's graduating class. The winner will receive a financial grant as a contribution towards her further education expenses. This year's recipient showed a marked pride in her school. She has met challenges with resilience while also displaying a positive attitude. She is very much committed to her educational goals, her scholarship application, evident a focus and a drive that will guarantee her success in her chosen field. It is with great pride that we welcome to the stage our 2018 Dame Marjorie Bean Award recipient, Arjane Simons. Congratulations. Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated, Charles Daniels Achievement Award. Good morning. As the Vice Pulmonic or Vice President of, Cap of the Bermuda Alumni Chapter of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated, it is my pleasure to be here today to present the newly branded Charles Daniels Achievement Award. This award was rebranded in honor of one of our founding charter members, Mr. Charles Daniels, standing right next to me. Um, Kappa Alpha Psi's main objective is achievement in every field of human endeavor. The Charles Daniels Achievement Award was, was created to recognize one student for their ability to excel not only in academics, but also in sports, the arts, 
and community service. Today we honor a student who exemplifies the Kappa Way. This dual enrollment student that is also a two-time Principal Spotlight Award winner, he, has, he was placed on the Bermuda College Vice President's list for achievement and was selected Chairman of the Student Union. He serves as a junior leader in the Bermuda Regiment and also received the Teen Services Outstanding Award for Technical Arts, and he has been accepted into the New, Eng New England Tech New England Institute of Technology to study automotive technology. For your accomplishments thus far, the men of the Bermuda Alumni Chapter are pleased to present the 2018 Charles Daniels Achievement Award and a check for $1,000 to Mr. Sakai Wainwright Baisden. Tatum Memorial Award. Good afternoon, all. Uh, first of all, I'd like to send a congratulations to all of the parents and teachers for the dedication that you guys put in for these young students. Also, um, for you students, this is not the end. This is just the beginning of a lifelong bond of friendship. I know this because when I came back from university, back in 19-something, um, <laughs> a group of school friends, we got together, and we, um, we formed our own little sports club, Tough Dogs, and within a few short years, it swelled to a couple of hundred members. Um, unfortunately, as time passes, we, we lose some of those that are close to us. Uh, we've lost mentors, coaches, friends, family, um, so in 2001, we started a charity golf tournament um, honoring the Tatum family who were, unfortunately, um, father and son passed. Uh, since then, we have uh, raised and donated uh, close to $100,000 to various charities across the island. Um, but we always had a mandate, part of our proceeds would be uh, used for, for our youth. Uh, last year, I sat in the back there while Ms. Richards gave her passionate speeches and showcased her students, and um, you know, I was left in awe uh, of what um, these kids do. And from that moment, we decided not part of our proceeds, but all of our proceeds from now on will be uh, ear earmarked for our young students. Now, being that we are a sports club, we, um, we wanted to help a young student athlete uh, who is, uh, have the ambitions to pursue themselves, not only athletically, but also academically, which is very important. And this year, the 2018 recipient is Keyshawn Bean. for Cray Crockle Sports Award. Good afternoon, teachers, parents, and the graduating class of 2018. This, mo this afternoon, I stand in front of you as a member of the for Cray Crockle Cricket Foundation. This foundation was formed in 2016 when for Cray, a former student of Cedar Bridge Academy, lost his life as a result of gun violence. Each year, the community hosts a cricket expo in memory of Fakray, and the money's raised go back to our community in the form of awards and scholarship. This year's recipient of the Fakray Crockle Sports Scholarship is a student that has a love for sports, is an all-rounder, but most of all has a positive attitude. This student has this student has very similar attributes like Fakray and is very deserving of this award. The foundation is proud to donate 3,500, but most of all, we are proud to keep Cray's legacy alive. Please join me in congratulating the recipient of the second annual for Cray Crockle Sports Scholarship, Jade, Jade Stewart. <laughs>
Bermuda College Scholarship. I'm okay. <laughs> good morning, or good afternoon, and congratulations to the class of 2018. I'm Dr. Phyllis Curtis Tweed, and I'm the Vice President of Academic and Student Affairs at Bermuda College. Bermuda College, as our island's only tertiary education system, provides wonderful programming in associate's degrees, certifications, and other skills development that students can use to further their education or to enter the workforce. It is indeed an honor and a pleasure to present the scholarship this year for attendance at Bermuda College to someone that I don't know personally, but I feel that I learned a lot about today when she presented and told us a bit about herself. She's intelligent, she's an excellent student, and she has a sense of humor. And that would be Tracy Jackson. The Lloyd and Touche Award. Good morning all, and congratulations to the class of 2018. Deloitte and Bermuda thrives for ambitious students and graduates who are keen to develop their financial services and insurance experience. We offer meaningful work experiences, attractive benefits, continuing local and overseas training and development, educational support, sports and social events, corporal social initi initiatives, well-being programs, and more. Our student programs include high school work experiences, the Deloitte Internship Program, Co-op Placements, the Deloitte Scholarship, and the Deloitte Graduate Program. No matter how high your ambitions, we will support you. At Deloitte, we recognize the value in supporting young Bermudians to pursue their educational goals. The Deloitte High School Award recognizes an exceptional student from your school who exemplifies our shared values. Outstanding start service, integrity, commitment to students, and respect for others. The recipient will receive a certificate award to commemorate their achievement, a financial award, and a Deloitte gift bag. Congratulations to this year's winner, and we wish you continued success in your future academic and career endeavors. The 28 Deloitte High School Award recipient is Kaya bagley Pearman. The Carib Crave Award for Dedication and Commitment to Service is awarded to a graduating student who volunteers with Carib Crave, who shows dedication and commitment to service. The recipient of this award, award is given to Priya Phillips. Cornerstone Bible Fellowship Honors Award, award awarded to students with GPA of 3.2 or higher who has shown integrity, leadership, and community involvement. The recipients of this award is going to Ricky Williams and Haley Place. The Cunyas Deal and Pearman Scholarship Award, awarded to a graduate who exemplifies leadership within his or her school and community. The recipient of this award is going to Kaya Begley Pearman, who will receive $5,000 for three years.
the Rosemary Matthews Foreign Language Award. Good morning. Protocol having been established, it's an honor for me to present to you the first foreign language award to a student who's most deserving. Anyone who knows me is, knows that I've traveled numerous times with several children trotting behind, and I would like Bermuda to have more foreign language teachers. So this year, we had a function to make funds for this event. The recipient this year is Ayana Franklin Smith. The Overnight Group Award, a full scholarship to Bermuda College, is awarded to a graduating student based on financial need and academic achievement. This year's recipient is Ezra Smith. The next award is the Frederick George Matthews Award in honor of my father. It is to a musician who will be continuing tertiary education. He is none other than Josiah Tolbert. <laughs> The Cedar Bridge Academy Board of Governors Award, along with the Cedar Bridge Academy Chairman's Award. The newly created Cedar Bridge Academy Board of Governors Award was put together by the board as our way of giving back to the students that we serve. We want you to know that no matter what obstacles you face, funding should never be a reason why you should not continue your education. The board has decided to donate $5,000 to this cause. The Cedar Bridge Academy Board of Governors Award is awarded to a student who displays excellence in and out of the classroom, an individual who has contributed to our society through community service and other extracurricular activities, a true Bermudian achiever. This year's award will go to Nadir Young. The Cedar Bridge Academy Chairman's Award is an award that is dear to my heart because in September of this year I was asked to come in and give a talk to the S4 students. And in that talk I challenged them to one, do better, to improve on what they were doing so far, and to be the best student that they could be this year. So they said to me, well Mr. Baird, put your money where your mouth is. So I said to them, I will donate $5,000 for future education to the student who has shown the greatest improvement from September to June of this year. This year's award goes to Rakaiza Fix.
let's give a round of applause for all of our young people. May the graduating class of 2018 please stand. Minister Rabean, Chairman Wade, Acting Commissioner of Education Richards, ladies and gentlemen, it is with great honor that I present to you Cedar Bridge Academy's graduating class of 2018. You You may now move your tassel from right to left. You are a high school graduate. Thank you. Thank you. So, so we have come to the end, it is, and it's now my job to give a charge to the graduates. This year, Cedar Bridge Academy has celebrated 20 years of existence in Bermuda. For 20 years, young people have walked through the halls of this fine institution to receive their high school education. Today, you join the ranks of those who have graduated from Cedar Bridge Academy. As you leave Cedar Bridge Academy today, I challenge you to leave on a mission, a mission like none other, in which you are determined to be successful. Success comes in many different ways, and quite frankly, the only person who can measure your success is yourself. Whether you are furthering your education or going into the job market, you take the opportunity to find success. Surround yourself with people who are going to uplift you motivate you and support you. Be that person who is going to encourage and lead others to make positive decisions. You will make mistakes. And when they happen, learn from your mistake. Make your haters your motivators. Don't take anything personal. Receiving your high school certificate is essential to your future. Today, all of you have achieved this milestone. Now you must go into the world and make your impact. The theme for this year at Cedar Bridge Academy was be boldly ambitious. I encourage you to remember the theme and do what it says. The world is large enough for all of you to make an impact. Every second and every minute counts of your future once you leave this auditorium. In fact, let me break down the power of a minute according to Dr. Benjamin E. Mays, former president of my alma mater, Morehouse College, and the person who was considered the schoolmaster of the civil rights movement in the United States. And Dr. Mays would tell young activists, young people just like you, the following. We have only but a minute, just 60 seconds in it. Force upon us, didn't choose it, didn't seek it, can't refuse it so it's up to you to use it. We must give an account if we abuse it. This is why we cannot lose it, for it's just a minute, but since it's God's minute, there, there is, it is an eternity within it. Get busy, class of 2018, and may God bless you.
Let us remain standing as we prepare for the benediction. On behalf of the Cedar Bridge Academy Board of Governors, we thank you for your presence here today, and we invite you to continue this celebration at the reception that has been prepared down in the cafeteria. Most gracious and eternal God, we invoke your blessing upon the class of 2018 of the Cedar Bridge Academy. As this chapter of their life's journey is completed and another one begins, may they continue to strive towards excellence in all that they do. As they go from this place of learning, may they remember with gratitude the friendships made, the lessons taught, the teachers and staff who imparted wisdom and knowledge, and the challenge that was set before them on this occasion to be boldly ambitious. May the choices they make continue to bring honor to you, their families, and this community. May the goals they pursue call forth their purpose and contribute to making the world a better place. And may your peace, presence, and power guide their every decision and go with them both now and forevermore. Be with us in our time of fellowship and bless the food that has been prepared. We ask all these things in the precious name of your Son, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you. recession, depression, and unemployment. This song to you. Today's a new day, but there is no sunshine. Nothing but clouds and it's dark in my heart and it feels like a cold night. Today's a new day, but where are my blue skies? Where is the love? And the joy that you promised me Tell me it's alright <laughs> I'll be honest with you I almost gave up But a power that I can't explain Fell from heaven Like a shower <laughs> When I think how much better I'm gonna be When this is over I smile Even though I hurt see I smile <laughs> I know God is working so I smile Even though I've been it for a while what you do? I smile. Come on and smile. Then. It's so hard to look up when you look down. Show would hate to see you give up now. God's people. You look so much better when you smile. So smile. <laughs> now every day ain't gonna be perfect. But it still don't mean today don't have purpose. Come on. Today's a new day. But there is no sunshine. It ain't easy, but today's a new day. But tell me where are my blue skies? Where is that?